Hey family, what's good? This is your girl, I am the Bronze Goddess, and um, I was thinking about doing sort of a talking video every Friday. Let me know if you guys would like that, if you want me to just talk to you guys candidly Friday where we just get together and we sip some tea, honey. Um, but anyway, you guys know I started this uh, discussion uh, about a week or so ago. I did the video uh, called I Want a Million Subscribers Like dot 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 and I've gotten so many comments and uh, emails and response videos and everything about that particular topic and I've seen quite a few of the videos. I think I've tried to see every single video response from that video and I was actually watching a video yesterday and it really kind of struck a chord with me I'm not going to mention names and I'm not going to throw shade because that's not my style but I did want to say this I actually just posted this on my Instagram but I felt like I should share it with all of you and I this was in response to a comment from my girl beat face honey you guys know her Tatiana Ward she actually beat my face She's a celebrity uh, makeup artist she did Brandy and Nicki Minaj she's amazingly talented but when I talk about humility, the most humble beauty guru I feel like I've ever seen. Her and Destiny, Destiny Godly worked with me when I probably had maybe, maybe 30,000 subscribers. And she might have had like 100,000 at the time or something crazy like that. The humility, that's what's missing. But I, let me tell you the, the comment really quickly. Um... So your humility is always so refreshing. I think that's why you're so blessed. People don't understand that God gives seed to the sower. You don't sow any seeds, you can't expect a harvest. Some people feel like they don't have to support anyone else because they've already made it. Your penthouse thought is God's basement idea. He has so much more to give you, but he can't trust you. He knows that if he did, you, he, would, he could not trust you to help the next man. You rejoice over crumbs and the master has a meal for you. If we could just let go of ego. Did I just say that? This tea though. Uh, let me stop before I preach. You know, I feel like what is missing, but nobody wants to say, it is, it is ego. It is ego and a lack of humility that you will look down your nose at someone and say, I wouldn't help her. She's not on my level enough to help her. L come see me when you have as much subscribers as I do. She wasn't with me when I was shooting in the gym. You on that. But please don't forget how you got on. Like, I just, I don't understand that. And I feel like when you do that, when you have that type of mentality, I'm not giving anybody anything type of mentality, you are stopping your own blessing. God has so much to give to you, but he can't trust you because he knows that if he gives you everything, that you would never help anyone else. That's selfish mentality is why you have plateaued and don't think that where you are is as high as you can be God could blow your mind if he really gave you a glimpse into where he really sees you but you are where you are and you won't go any further because you're selfish that lack of humility and some people are going to be mad with me for saying this but y'all know I don't care I mean, by now you know I'm going to say what I want to say I'm going to say what's on my heart what I'm asking you to do is humble yourself let go of ego I just want to say this other part really quickly I'm sorry they're cutting my grass right now uh, but the thing about it is when you do something when you only want to work with people who are in your bracket and you only want to work with somebody who's on your level somebody who also has a hundred thousand subscribers who also has 200 you are missing out on other blessings there's so much to life there's so much to life that's beyond YouTube I honestly guys and I'm being frank and being honest I feel like everything that I have in my life all the blessing that God has given me has been a result from some kind deed I did for someone else I'm not just talking about YouTube like get YouTube off the brain who if you do a good deed for someone today God blesses you tomorrow the house I live in the car I drive my children everything that I have every blessing that I have every good thing a positive thing that happens to me I Feel like it is a result from helping someone else so stop looking at it like what, what would I gain on YouTube what would you gain in life from putting good out there you sow positivity and love you get that back there's so much more to to giving than getting subscribers back like you got I did the video and some people got it and some people still missed the point so that's why I'm back you still missed it where is the lack of humility? What, what happened to I'm going to do it because it's the right thing to do? Because she's talented and people should know about her. Not, I'm, why would I work with her? 
she, let her get on my level first and then we'll talk. And then you wonder why you can't get love in your real life. And you wonder why you can't find a job or you can't find this or you can't find that because you're stingy. Because you don't give in other areas. That's why you don't receive in this area. It's all connected. I want you to get that. It's all connected. If you want love, so love. If you want kindness, so kindness. If you're mad because people don't share your videos, share somebody else's video. Stop being selfish is what I'm saying. Let go of the ego. Let go and have a little bit of humility. I don't want to preach, okay? I don't want to preach, but when I saw, I've been seeing certain videos, and I'm not going to mention any names, but I'm seeing videos, and I'm like, but you're still missing the point. I mean, you got some of it, but you're missing the point. Where's the humility? I'm not saying just work with anybody. She's not, you're a makeup guru, and she's talking about hair, and it's like, this. All, I, I understand that her camera quality is horrible, and, you know, I understand that. But if somebody is talented and amazing, don't just keep that as a little secret for yourself. Why not help someone? And, and you may not get a bunch of subscribers off of that. But, some, but another opportunity that you have been wanting, uh, that you've been praying about, that you've been secretly dreaming about, may happen for you. That's sowing and reaping. Whether you believe in the Bible and you, and you believe in sowing and reaping as a spiritual law, or whether you believe in karma, or whether you believe in the law of reciprocity, no matter, or whether you believe in the secret and in the power of intention, when, no matter what you believe in, you can't be stingy and expect to get generosity. It makes no sense. Anyway, I love you guys and I hate to rant. <laughs> I really do. I'd rather do beauty videos and things like that. But if God puts something on my heart, I'm going to give it to you. And um, there it is. Straight up, no chaser. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you to my new subscribers. I hope you stay rocking with me. Uh, for those of you who don't get what I'm saying, I, you know, I, I'm, I can only put it out there. I can lead a horse to water, but I can't make him drink. All right? <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Till next time. Deuces, honey.